goals of evaluating information security controls. Does the control work? You don't pay for something that doesn't work. You ditch it. Are controls that are intended to enforce or satisfy a regulatory requirement successful? Great idea. Got a control. Good. People are going to be happy. Does it actually do the job? Is it, what well, we're really looking at, is it effective? Is it doing the job? Is it doing it in a cost-effective manner? If it isn't, ditch it, get something that will. If it's regulatory, you probably need to have the control. You may not have any option, but you need one that works. Are the controls efficient? Do they do the job very well? I've had examples within this course of clustering. Do you achieve five or six nines? And I said, you can get three good servers, cluster them. They're going to work. You take one down from maintenance, the other ones are up. You're still up and running. If one fails, you still have other ones up and running. Or you can go with eight white box machines that are all garbage. They're going to fail left and right, but there's enough of them, you're always up. You're going to achieve the same level of uptime. But what a lousy way of doing it. That's not real efficient. That's not real effective. And that's probably not going to be cost effective in the long run with all the repairs all the maintenance you need to do, even though you don't have downtime of the service because you have enough boxes, you got enough repairs, enough headaches that it's not worthwhile. And you have an exercise, probably of decent configuration management, which has made your costs go way up. So are, it costs, are the controls operating within established budgets? They need to be cost effective. If they're not, look for better controls. Look to redesign them. You know, I can give an example with a car. I love cars. I think they're fun. So you get examples about them. You, know, you can buy two different cars. One costs less to buy, but you got to spend a fortune to maintain it. One costs less to buy, but you don't have as much repair. Even though one costs more, if it's more effective, you have less overhead, the cost of ownership of that control is less, it makes more sense. Sometimes it's worth paying more because you get better. Can controls be strengthened? Can you enhance it? Maybe that control's not doing the job well enough, but if you improve it, and you can improve it in a cost-effective manner, that's cheaper than replacing it with something else and does the job. Sometimes you can't fix the control. Sometimes you can't make it work any better, in which case, replace that control with another. And finally, are the controls meeting the objectives of both information security program and the underlying business objectives? Remember, the goal is to achieve our business objectives, to make money, make our stockholders happy, have happy customers that smile and say, I'm glad I dealt with them. We implement security to achieve our business processes, to achieve our business goals. If we're not doing that, the control is worthless. Controls are there to achieve the business goals, to achieve the business objectives. Information security program is not there to promote security. It's there to support and maintain our business processes so they work in a safe, sound, desirable, resilient manner.